Hey what's good, I'm Sadia and in this video I'll be unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple and giving you my first impressions of it. So I'm on the iPhone upgrade program which meant I did actually have to open the box in store to get the phone but let me just unbox it for you. So let's get this open and here's the phone. Obviously I've already taken this off but I just put it back on just to show you guys and Here's the iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple. It's actually a really nice colour. It's uh, it's not as vibrant as I guess some people may think. To me, this is almost, it's basically a graphite but with a tint of purple. I'll show you a close up of the colour in different lightings just to show you but for me it's, it, yeah, it's more of a sort of graphite with a tint of purple. So it's not super vibrant, not very bold at all. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's a nice colour and it, re it feels really, really good in the hand. So this is the Pro. I'm used to having the Pro Max, but I found it too big uh, and even using it single-handedly was really awkward and horrible. I honestly got bored of the Max, which is probably a surprise to hear because most people want the bigger screen the more, you know, for the extra re screen real estate. But I'm actually really happy that I downgraded to the Pro because the size is just so much better for my hands. I can use it one-handed, which is obviously really good. Um, but yeah, that's the phone. We'll get onto that shortly. And then inside the box, you also get the the Lightning cable. Unfortunately, they haven't gone U they haven't gone to USB-C. I think us Apple fans have been waiting that for years. We'll probably be waiting decades. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Lightning cable. And then you also get this little pack with documentation, um, which I haven't even looked at, so let's take a look. So you get the SIM eject tool, pretty standard. Um, and then there's a little a user guide in English. And then for some reason, there's, there's a bunch of them in different languages. You've got uh, French, you've got Dutch, or is that German? And then, of course, you've got the Apple sticker. So, honestly, this is all such a waste of paper. I think what they should do is probably just have one piece of paper with a QR code that you scan to get the instructions. But anyway, I mean, how many people really look at this? But yeah, that's all you get in the box. So there's no power adapter. Um, that's pretty standard stuff now. So you do have to use your old one. And that's the iPhone unboxing. So first impressions. The colour is really nice. Um, I like that it's subtle and not like a super bold or super vibrant bright purple. Um, it's a nice subtle colour. And yeah, I like it. Love the size. Um, as I said before, I can use it one handed, which is great. Um, I don't miss the Max at all. I'm quite happy I downgraded to the smaller display. But it's still the Pro model, so it's obviously still feature packed with a lot of great features. In comparison to the 13 Pro, I don't think it's this significantly different. Um, I think the main feature that stands out for me at least, well, there's, there's a couple. So the first one is the Dynamic Island. Absolutely love it. I think it's very cool and well done to Apple for doing something different. <laughs> um, really like the Dynamic Island. It's really cool. Um, you can see it here when I unlock my phone, it kind of changes in size. Um, when I'm playing different music, it shows the Apple Maps directions and yeah, I just love how it adjusts for different tasks or different apps. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. I've never really been a hater off the notch, as with most people. Um, so I don't actually mind the way, I don't actually mind that the notch is still there. Um, but yeah, the Dynamic Island, the Dynamic Island feature is really cool. Really, really like that. The second feature that stands out is most definitely the camera. They upgrade it every single year and honestly, every year it's like, what are they going to do next? How can they make this better? Like, how can they actually make this better? Because the camera on the iPhones is always so phenomenal, so amazing. But Apple have done it again. So this year with the 14 Pro and the Pro Max, you've got the quad pixel sensor, which is basically a 65% larger sensor than the 13 Pro. Um, and the camera is just amazing. It's four times the resolution, so it's instead of 12 megapixels, the 14 Pro actually boasts a 48 megapixel camera, which is like, wow, just definitely a step up. 
talk about raising the bar. And what's also great about the camera is that now in cinematic mode you can shoot at 24 frames per second and that's really cool because that's basically the filming industry standard so I'm gonna get some pretty cool shots. And the other thing about the camera is there's now an action mode which means that you don't necessarily need a gimbal if you're going to be shooting. I don't know, maybe you're trying to capture somebody running so you're having to run with them uh, but generally you'd probably need a gimbal just to you know keep that stabilization but the action mode basically allows you to not have a gimbal so you don't have to spend that extra money uh, we're definitely going to be putting that to the test in our full iphone review which t and i will both do together but for now that's basically the camera upgrades which i think are really cool in terms of the battery so the iphone 14 pro is a smaller iphone compared to the 14 pro max so it does hold a smaller battery capacity. So Apple have said that the 14 Pro will give you 23 hours of video playback, whereas the Pro Max will give you 29 hours. So there's about a six hour difference, which does seem quite a lot, but honestly, I've had this phone for about five days now and it gets me through the entire day and I still don't run out. Um, so I think it, it roughly lasts about a day and a half, but of course, how long your battery will last will depend on how you use your phone. So some days it may even last me two days, but I always charge it overnight because I like waking up to 100% battery, but so far the battery life can't complain. Another really cool feature on the new iPhone 14 Pro is crash detection. Now this is just really cool. You could be driving and unfortunately get into an accident. Your iPhone will detect that and it will trigger a call to the emergency services. So how that works is basically demonstrated on the Apple website, but it's just really cool how far technology has come. Like, you know, if, you, if you've got Apple Watch, you might be used to the fall detection. Um, I've actually experienced having that triggered once. It wasn't an actual accident though, but um, it wasn't an actual fall, sorry. But I thought it was really cool on the watch and to have it on the iPhone, that's really, really cool. Um, especially for, you know, unfortunate cases where you're in a car on your own and, you know, you get into an accident or whatever it may be. Um, so that's really, really cool. Definitely don't want to be putting that one to the test though. I'll take Apple's word for it of how amazing it is. Then you've got the always on display. So I, I personally don't like it. So I turned that feature off. I didn't like it at all. Um, I've, I had it on, it's actually on by default. So I had it on for about maybe half an hour, realized that I actually really hate it. So I had to turn the always on display off. But for those that like it, then great. The good thing about it though, is it's not gonna drain your battery too much because it's quite smart in the sense that it will detect if the phone is in your pocket or if you've turned it you know, face down it will know that you're not looking at the phone so the display will go off and in that way you are saving battery life so not to really worry on that. And then of course it comes pre-installed with iPhone 16 which has a bunch of really cool features. I think the most exciting thing about getting a new phone which you don't actually need a new phone for is the software. I think Apple always come up with really good um, Good, really good features that are software based so you don't necessarily need to upgrade to a new phone every single year. So if you do have one of the older iPhones and you haven't upgraded to iOS 16 then I would definitely recommend doing so. It's, it's got some really cool features but overall I'm really happy with the iPhone 14 Pro. I think it's a great phone, camera is amazing and Dynamic Island is really cool but obviously the camera is definitely the highlight feature for me. T and I will definitely be bringing you guys a full review of the iPhone 14 Pro, which he also has too, in Deep Purple. So it'll be interesting to see if our opinions clash or if we agree on certain things. But for now, I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. Peace.